Welcome to Short Form Content. I am your host, the ability to look away from your screen. Don't look away from this one until you're done, though. You gotta stay and watch this video. Haha. <laughs> I got things to say, and you don't have places to be, so let's talk about it. So, <laughs> I know this isn't what separation of church means, but go with me on this. YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. What do all of these have in common? Brain rot. I mean, short form content. The creation of our Lord. Our Lord being TikTok, but we're not really gonna... I, I don't actually mean that. They... They actually suck, like, a lot. But between all three of these, there is some form of back and forth, some bantering, some fighting, some... You know, there's just a lot of weird separation of churches between the three of them. Mainly just TikTok beating up on the other two to keep themselves ahead of the curve, ahead of the game, ahead of the ball, ahead of the bag. They really do like to beat down on the other two. So, uh, let's rank them. <laughs> fun, fun little idea, and I, I don't think a lot of people are gonna click on this video, but I do think it's funny. Cause the separation of church is just separating government and religion. But I, th this is funnier, okay? I swear it's funnier. So let's rank the three, all right? Let's start with Instagram Reels. Yeah, the black sheep, the weird child, the little gremlin version of short form content. The first to hop on the bandwagon after TikTok blew out the market of what people were watching. They innovated a lot of things, like how to be unsettlingly scary, for no reason. I don't understand how Instagram does this, but they have a air to the overall platform now. It being an ad graveyard still means it's a graveyard of sorts, and a lot of the content you see is either very old or very new, and it seems very old. And it's not comfortable at all. I, none of these are comfortable, but reels are worse. And the whole joke of them catching on to trends late is true. They do that a lot. But honestly, sometimes it has a comedic aged wine feel to it. Or you've never seen it before because it had no business being funny on TikTok, where billions of people use the app. So Instagram catching on to something a little more than, than something did catch on on TikTok makes sense. So it'd be funnier on there because there's nothing to drown it out. But the cons go as follows. Yes, they may be funnier, but it's Instagram. Come on, guys, it's Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, but it's, it's Instagram, okay? It's been around the block a little too long. Uh, I don't respect the idea of things aging this quickly because it's the modern era, but uh, yeah, they have kind of aged pretty quickly. Instagram came out after Facebook, not that long after Facebook, but it is an extension of Facebook now, and it's kind of falling into that same area of like only you follow your family members and stuff like that, or people use it for nefarious means, which is, uh, we're not gonna talk about that, but that is a problem. There is a lot of uh, adult-ish content on all of these, except maybe YouTube. YouTube can take care of their stuff a little more because they've been around and doing it longer. Speaking of YouTube, YouTube, YouTube shorts. shorts! So I'm obligated to say that uh, long form content's 10,000 times better. I mean, it really is though. I'm not just obligated to say it. If I wasn't, I would. Before I made YouTube videos, I didn't actually use short form content a lot because I had no need for it. Now I use it simply to keep up to date with the trends. Okay? But in every way, shape, or form, YouTube has better long form content then any platform has short form content. You just have to know what you're looking for, okay? Stuff that doesn't really work in short form content as well because you can't pump out the information you need to quick enough. But YouTube Shorts, it's all downside, honestly. Unless it's fitness content or food content, it all kind of just stinks. Where Instagram was a little behind the ball on the trend, YouTube literally cannot get on a trend on shorts to save its life. You'll catch a song that was popular three months ago popping up on there as a viral sound because who knows why, but it's, uh, it's funny. See, I've been on YouTube for about four months now. Yeah, only four months. <laughs> and in that time, I have seen TikTok move through so many trends, and just now YouTube shorts is kind of catching on to. So the memes about it are very true. <laughs> It's actually, actually really, really funny. funny. That's not where YouTube's strong points are. It's not in the shorts. It's in the videos, you know? They're not the funniest and they're not the quickest, but damn, their long-form content is so good. 
Now, on to the juggernaut, because you can't stop it. TikTok. TikTok. The content monolith that just pumps and pumps and pumps. Oh, hold on. Uh, funny in general, scary content's pretty good on there in general. Makeup content in general is okay. Minecraft content's on there too. It's a good in general. They're kind of like the humanity of <laughs> apps, because so many people are on them, the overall arching theme of TikTok doesn't exist anymore. It used to be very campy, very fun, very niche in like 2019. And and then Charlie D'Amelio showed up and boom, everything changed. But other than that, TikTok has turned into the jack of all trades where it's not great at anything, but it's kind of okay at everything. And it, it makes it so not fun to be on there, but just fun enough that it really wants you to catch on. Speaking of catching on, Catching on trends and stealing trends are a very real problem in all three of these. The duets where you duet somebody cooking food with somebody else's TikTok to get a bunch of likes and then you do because somebody's just focusing on the two and they're like, oh, I guess uh, just my plain reaction, click, 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 you know, that's, uh, that's fun. But if any out of touch high school girl ever says this is better than long form content on YouTube, don't listen to her. You gotta have your own life, man. You, ca you can't listen to a girl whose father left her. See, there are so many problems with short form content as a whole. Yeah, sure, TikTok's fun, but did you know it literally hinders your ability to remember things? Did you know that? I'm sure in the recent history of you using the app for as much time as you do, you've noticed that your memory is shortened. It's not great. That's because the human mind is not built to experience so many things so quickly. It's not. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it every now and then. That's fine. Things in moderation are okay. Using the app as much as some people do makes them unable to function in a society completely. You can't remember a thought you had 20 minutes ago because you're too busy looking at 20 other things per seven minutes. I don't, I don't have, have the actual, the actual measurements. measurements, I just I thought, thought those numbers, numbers sounded right in my head, head. Okay. okay? So from content theft, which is a real thing on all three apps, whether it's just Instagram going, oh nice, I'm gonna post that on my account, it's uh, it's gonna do great. Or YouTube Shorts, uh, they're not actually really that bad about it, but TikTok as a whole has a problem with people stealing content. Do you know what else it has a problem with? See, I made a video about TikTok Live a while back. It didn't do very well because my my channel wasn't very decently sized at the time. I don't think it, I even had a thousand subscribers, but I did make this video because TikTok has so many people who live stream on their website. They have so many people who use their app that it it's impossible for them to keep track of everybody. And I saw this somebody playing a Tex-Mex game on live. There are children on this app. <laughs> See, the first ever video I made, which was terrible, was about how a TikTok can't just monitor everything. They're a bad app for people to have because there's too many people on it. So uh, what are you going to do if everybody does something bad? You can't monitor them all. If you don't know what Tex-Mex is, all right, it's, my, it's the word I use to say the, the, the spicy time, the hot and spicy time, you know, Tex-Mex you, you get what I'm saying. And they were playing that, a Tex-Mex game, on live. live. With no reports, it wasn't taken down. I didn't watch it for very long to see if it did get taken down. Because I didn't want to look at that. What the hell? How are you going to let that happen, TikTok? Huh? What the hell is this? Even though TikTok is up to date because everybody uses it and Instagram's funny and YouTube, uh, they're there. Uh, never mind. I gotta break the act. They all suck. suck. They're bad for your attention span. They're bad for your memory. They're bad for spending time with the people you love and care about. They're all bad. Surprised to say that none of them take the podium. Uh, they actually all are disqualified for attacking the crowd. Some people feel high and mighty because they don't use TikTok because they're on Instagram or because they uh, switch between YouTube shorts and long form content. So that makes them better than the people who use TikTok. Short form content works specifically because it hurts you and you don't understand that it is short form content attacks the dopamine receptors in your brain yes people say that it sends a bunch of pulses of it because it makes you feel good you rewards and all that stuff making you feel accepted because so many people are on this app so so many people experience the same thing as you do so, so you, you just, just keep scrolling. scrolling basically i don't want to sound like a grinch or a grouch or a grumpy grimy goblin but there are so many things wrong with short form content. If you stayed to this point in this video, you have an attention span and that's good. And it's very hard to come by because of what's happening. 
If you notice, back when you were a kid and you watched YouTube videos without switching to the next one every five minutes because you were entranced with what was going on, you were staying invested in the story or the events in that video. Whether it was 10 minutes or 15 minutes or an hour long, you would stay in that video because it just, it made sense, it worked, it was nice, you know? Now, half the people who use TikTok can't stay on a video more than 20 seconds unless there's some bright colors or there's two separate videos playing at the same time where none of it matters to their own life. So, none of them win. They all suck. You know who wins? Me. I'm at the top of the podium. I'm first, second, and third place. Why? Because it's my video. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for watching. I haven't gotten any new members since uh, time of recording, so uh, going back into rotation, this video is dedicated to you. Thank you for your contribution and being a member. I really appreciate you. You make the wheels turn. You really do. If you want to become a member and have a video dedicated to you, it's in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you stayed all the way in this video. You person with an amazing attention span. I appreciate you very much. See, <laughs> I just, I, I wish I didn't have to use TikTok for work. It was, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's a lot. It doesn't feel like I'm in the real world when I'm using it. But when, depending on, it doesn't even matter which one I'm using. They all, they all really, 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 really suck. Unlike my subscribers, you're all awesome. Uh, I hope you have a good morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you are. Later.